Well, Andrew just finished up another one and uh, came out really good. So uh, we'll show you what you did, what we did. This is a early model TJ, so three-speed automatic uh, Jeep TJ, and it came in. It already had one tons and forties on it, but it had factory coils with radius arms in the front, um, and it did actually have the four link in it already. Uh, but with factory coils. So what we did is we added coilovers in the front and rear. So we'll kind of start in the front and tell you what we got going on. So first off, <clears throat> Andrew completely cleaned the frame off. And one of the most important things is getting the factory track bar bracket off the frame. So this is our TJ track bar bracket that we use on all the TJs and LJs. It's actually really low profile and it wraps fully around the frame. So we cleaned the, all, the frame up, added our track bar bracket, added our TJ coilover towers. And this is a 2.0 Fox coilover with 12 inches of travel in the front. It's running 200 over 250, so 12 inch 200 uh, coils and 14 inch 250 coils on the bottom. Uh, it's important to know that the Fox bump stops are only two inches of travel, because if you take a look, there's only an inch and a half or so of travel before it hits the bump and then about five inches of up travel there uh, on the shock. So coilovers in the front, our towers, our track bar bracket, we went ahead and built the track bar. We went with the uh, Rock Jock, Annie Rock front and rear sway bars on this one. Um, and then it, instead of that radius arm, we converted this one to a three link. So if you kind of squeeze in there and see, the upper link goes to the top of the uh, truss that was already on there. And those are uh, 7 8 by 7 8 with 5 8 misalignment spacers on the heim joint. It's an inch and a half upper link. And then way underneath here to the inside of the frame is our zero degree link mount. And uh, um, then for the lowers, just inch and a half uh, heim joints with misalignment spacers that go to the factory Rubicon Express skid plate. So up in the top, it's actually 9 16 misalignment spacers because that's what size this bolt is. Um, and then we went to his existing link mounts that were down on the axle. Now, Andrew kind of took what he had there and then morphed it uh, and made it work for us. This is a 80 through 91 Kingpin front Dana 60, which is pretty common to use in these TJLJ swaps. If you look underneath, at some point, somebody has done a heavy duty diff cover with a bunch of bolts tying to a kind of a low profile small truss. So what Andrew did is he took the coil buckets out that were right here, added these bump pads, welded it all in, tied it together, um, and then built some shock mounts here that went down onto his original links to mount the coilovers where the lower bolt is low enough to get as much travel as we could. On the top here you can see we did our HD Kingpin eliminator or a Kingpin spring eliminator cap on this side. So you set the preload right here. We went ahead and put 35 spine chromoly Yukon axles in it. And then we built a new tie rod with a slight bend in it here with 7 8 heim joints. So when it turns all the way, it clears the diff cover. So upgraded him to chromoly axles and 35 spine outers. And then uh, he's got race line bead locks on 40 inch Goodyear's already. We went to the 35 spline Yukon uh, hardcore locking hubs. Um, Everything else in this is pretty simple underneath. It's got hydraulic assist, goes to the tie rod. The tie rod is to the top of the factory Ford knuckles, which gives you some good height. And we don't always do this, but the ram is still tied into the diff cover. That's how it was when it came in. We decided to keep it that way because the diff cover also has those upper bolts going to the truss. So we didn't think it was gonna rock the cover loose in this application. And it was already in there when the Jeep came in. Um, what we did do is go ahead and change and put our HD crossover steering arm on here. Uh, same thing, adjustable set screw here to, to adjust the preload. And then one thing that fits on these low to the ground, uh, you know, high travel vehicles is we had to put the heim joint on the bottom of the steering arm in order to clear the frame right here um, at full flex. So has our WFO limit straps in here. Um, and gets plenty of travel, everything kind of uh, sits where it needs to be right there. So in the back, it had coils 
um, and then outboarded kind of small two inch shocks that were, I think they were BBCs. <laughs> Big black cock rooster shocks. Um, so Andrew went ahead and notched the frame, put our universal coilover shock towers in the rear, um, tucked it back as far as he could. We went same thing with the Fox 2.0 bump stops with two inches of travel. And this is a universal Curry anti-rock sway bar that uh, if you buy the sway bar for a TJ, it actually mounts in the back here and gets in the way of your coilover. So this is just universal that we were able to notch the, the body right here and sink it across to the other side, just miss the uh, air bump um, and get that rear uh, anti-rock to fit in there. Um, coming around to the back, these are Fox 2.0 coilovers. However, these are 14s. So it's sitting right around seven inches of up and seven inches of down. Um, one thing we did do is the, the brake calipers used to be on the back of the axle here and they would get in the way of the coilover and the coilover would rub into them. So we pulled the rear end apart, it's a 14 bolt, moved the disc brake bracket to the front of the axle so that the calipers weren't in the way of the coilovers uh, to make everything fit. Um, just once again, this already had kind of a small truss on it when it came in and it was already four linked, uh, dual triangulated four link. So we left the four link and just got the coilovers in there, moved the brakes, got the air bumps in there and got the sway bar on it. So this thing is stretched pretty far. Um, in fact, it stretched so far back that the factory filler neck wouldn't fit anymore. So the customers moved the filler to the inside of the Jeep. Um, but just drove it down the road, drives good, handles good, flexes good, um, sitting right at four to five or five inches of up travel in the front, seven inches in the rear. Um, like I said, 12 inch Fox coilovers in the front, 14s in the rear. Very hard to fit 14s and make it sit this low. Um, so nice little kind of uh, rework of an already, already built one ton TJ and uh, it's loading up on the trailer and heading to Moab here uh, in about a week. So hopefully it does well and uh, another fun one to get in and out with almost all of our uh, link components on the rebuild. See ya.